Christopher Mullen is back to break down what's happening with the markets and make sense of it all. Chris, it's been a long time. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks for having me, David. It's been almost a month since we last spoke. I'm going to start with a series of statements covering a variety of asset classes and just tell me from one to 10 whether or not you agree or disagree from one being most strongly disagree to 10 okay. strongly agree. All right. So let's start with gold. Gold is stuck in a range. It's not going to go any higher until next year. Uh, agreed. Okay. So strongly agree seven or five or eight. Oh yeah. Sorry. I, I think, uh, I mean, there's a big range that it's in. I don't think it's going to break 2000 this year. So I, I'm, a, I'm an agreement that, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, eight, eight in agreement that it's not going to hit new highs. Okay. And Bitcoin is in a major bull pattern. Correct. Uh, that's uh, yeah. 10 out of 10. It's in a major bull pattern. Mm, okay, we'll talk about that too. And the S and P five hundred is flagging downward. It's in the bear pattern. Uh, I I disagree. I, I still um, depends on your time frame, but it's I disagree. One, I mean, it's still in a raging bull market. This is a pullback, very bullish. Okay, and the oil market, oil was poised for another breakout. Yep, ten out of ten. Let's talk about yeah. Bitcoin here. Um, so you're telling me offline, Bitcoin's also in a bull flag now i i'm struggling to see that because it's taken a hit explain your thought process here right okay well let, let, let's let's just go back uh, i mean we'll just go back to a couple of these so for example the bull flag that i'm showing you more or less the market rallies up has a huge move which this was a huge move it was over a hundred percent move and then it, and then it chops in these huge oscillations and goes flat for a long time that that's a bull flag pattern that should resolve to the upside. And then you boom, you go out, you have another one. And eventually it will more or less consolidate depending on how big one goes. Um, it'll rally up and consolidate and then it'll rally up and consolidate. And when you look at this, I mean, this super one that we've seen, let me just squish the chart out. It's getting a little messy here. Um, we're in what I think is going to be like just a massive uh, bull flag pattern, which you and I actually talked about a long time ago. It's, I think it's going to take Bitcoin a year before it breaks to new highs. And I got a lot of flack for that. But the reality is it's it's stuck in this massive range right now. And it could trade sideways here for a long time, for potentially another several months. And eventually price here is going to ping pong around and it should start to flatline. And then eventually it'll start to move up and it'll start another one of those bull flag rallies. We've seen yeah. it with Bitcoin six times in the past. This pullback is nothing normal. It's actually one of the smallest pullbacks after um, a, one of these significant rallies percentage wise. So it's holding up actually really good in the grand scheme of things, but it needs a lot of time to oscillate and kind of work out the bugs and, and, and for the positions of the Bitcoins to change hands to new investors. Um, there's a lot of money that was spooked out of the market right in here uh, when it broke down and everyone who chased it up. Um, got spooked out. And so it's just changing hands, but that's the bull flag. I mean, it's pointing to uh, a lot higher prices. In fact, we could use a Fibonacci extension and get an idea of where this last standout low, where that momentum move is. And more or less the 618 is usually if the first resistance level, if you hit that level and pull back a bit, typically you're going to hit that 100% measured move. And you can see it, we're, we're looking at pretty much 90,000 to the upside. Right. And um, and so eventually when it gets up here, it's probably going to have some type of pause or pullback as it tries to eat through all this resistance. And then boom, it's going to run up and hit that $89,000, right. $90,000 mark. But that might not happen until next year. That's my game plan, late mid to late next year. At, at this point, I mean, on a short-term basis, it really depends on how you look at this, right? If, if you're an investor, I think, I think Bitcoin, I mean, it's still in a, a major bull market in terms of it's in a bull flag, just like gold, just like silver and miners. They're more or less flagging down out of favor right now. Um, I think longer term, they're going higher. But in a, in a short term basis, when you look at it, this market really is struggling um, at this point. It's, it's made a drop, a little bear flag. It's had the second drop. It's in a bear flag. It's under all the key moving averages. It is pointing to lower prices uh, in the near term over the next week or so, we, we could see it come back down. And um, again, it's it's stuck in a pretty big range. You could argue too, it's stuck below all these, this level. And when it breaks out of, whichever way it breaks out of this level will be fairly significant. I think mm -hmm. if it breaks to the upside, we could be off to the races. Maybe it's going to hit 90,000 sooner than later. But as long as it stays in this range or breaks below it, it's kind of dead money. You don't really want to get involved because... Um, it could trade in this range for a long time. 
Yeah. All right. Good point. All right, Chris. Thanks for your updates, and we'll follow up soon. Uh, whenever the markets move again, we'll call you up, Chris. Thank you Sounds for coming good, on today. <laughs> Take care.